In this video, I'll show you how to make a drawing file. So once you have your uh, part that you've made, we're going to do File, New, and I'm clicking this little arrow right here, not just new, click this little arrow to expand this menu, then click on Drawing. It will bring this up. First thing we need to do is change the size of this uh, sheet or paper. This is really big and it will make your uh, 3D part look very small. So right here on the left we're going to right click on Sheet, Edit Sheet, and then let's choose an A size sheet. Leave everything else alone. Click OK. Uh, we can also get rid of this title block and if we go right here to ANSI Large, right click Delete. Okay, now we go to Base and you're going to go find your part. See how mine says titled Part 1? You can click on this folder and go find wherever you saved your part. Mine's already loaded and yours may be too. Um, before you click OK, you're going to want to move this to this bottom left corner and notice that's showing the front view which is exactly what we want. If yours does not say front, you can click and rotate this until it shows the side uh, that you that you want. But we're just going to go right there. Mine I think is oriented correctly. You can also play with the scale um, and I think I'm going to leave that alone. So then we'll go up here and this is going to project just like our multi-view sketch that we did. This will pro project our top view. This will project our isometric view. And then finally our side view. Remember, we, we want them just like we did in class. We don't want them over to the left or kind of all over the place. We want them to look nice and neat. Uh, something like that. Let's see what happens. Click OK and we're good to go. Last thing is go to annotate click on dimension and I just want to see that you know how to do some dimensions. So there's my overall height uh, on the same view. I can do, I can click on here and here and do my overall width. That's fine. Actually these shouldn't be crossing. So any of them that you don't like you can just click on it and then uh, click delete. So let's do that again. Dimension. Click, click, pull down. That looks a little better. Uh, remember, we don't do any dimensions on hidden lines. So these are hidden lines. These are hidden lines. The only other thing I need to do is dimension my hole. I'll just show you real quick in case you have one. If you don't, you can stop the video and continue uh, to just put some dimensions on your part. Uh, there are a couple ways to do uh, to dimension a hole. Let me show you two. One, you can just click on hole and thread, hover right here, and this will really give you all the information that you need. Done. Uh, another way to do it, let me delete that guy. I can just go to dimension, and we want to know, see that little circle that pops up that means diameter? So I'm going to click on that. I need to know the diameter of both of these holes because if you look on this view we need to know the diameter from here to here we also need to know the diameter this is called a countersink so the the larger the larger hole so same thing dimension wait till i see the little circle click and let's make them look as neat as we can we don't want them you know like this kind of stuff or out here something like that is just fine for us Okay, you can take a screenshot of that. You can use snipping tool. If you don't know how, go down here, type in snip. Mine's already popped up because I use it quite a lot. This box will pop up, click on new, and you can just do that and submit it, or of course, take a picture on your phone.